Pastors claim Bill Gates will use COVID vaccines to impose the mark of the beast. So this news is going to answer the question on everyone's mind. Is the COVID-19 vaccination plan a, just a cover for a more sinister plot to usher in the mark of the beast? Well, let's discuss. So earlier in the pandemic, Pastor Kurt Landry urged his followers to avoid any future COVID-19 vaccinations, claiming this would protect them from receiving the mark. Louisiana pastor Ronnie Hampton predicted a mandatory vaccine that would inject, quote, some type of chip into you and maybe have some mood or mind altering substances, end quote. Pastor Rick Wiles released a video in which he directly connects Bill Gates to the Antichrist and Satan, claiming, quote, this man is building Lucifer's Antichrist system. Um, so to those who are maybe unfamiliar, you might be asking, like, well, what is the mark of the beast? Um, this is a concept that comes from Revelations 13. That says, quote, and then I saw a second beast coming out of the earth. It had two horns like a lamb, but it spoke like a dragon. It also forced all people, great and small, rich and poor, free and slave, to receive a mark on their right hands or their foreheads so that they could not buy or sell unless they had the mark, which is the name of the beast or the number of its name. Oh my god. By the way, can you announce to the YouTube gods that we're not saying any of this horse shit? Like, this is just like other people. Have mercy like, on us. Have mercy on us, YouTube gods. Please don't strike us down. We're not spreading conspiracy theories. I mean, I don't know. YouTube algorithm is not smart enough to realize that we're not spreading this. So we're going to get punished for this. So please share our videos because YouTube is unfair. Um, and Facebook is also unfair. No, YouTube is more unfair on this, by the way. Anyway, so I mean, I got some people even sending me, some of my friends even, they're like, oh, my God, look in the, there's in the code or somewhere, there was 666. I'm like, oh, my God, look at this. This is proof. I'm like, oh, my God, are you guys serious? It's so sad. Like, even even some atheists believe these conspiracy theories. Um, they think, like, this guy is pushing. It's very interesting because Bill Gates is one of the few people that is doing everything he can to help as many people as possible. Like the fact that this guy is getting demonized, like all everything he's done for the past, I don't know how many years, like he's trying to eradicate disease, he's trying to fight AIDS, he's trying to fight malaria, he's trying to find the highest return on investment when it comes to finding um, uh, ways that, you know, um, to use resources to get people out of poverty. Um, he's trying to avoid us avoid diseases spreading him and like and people are like attacking this guy from from all the people of the world in the world this is the last guy that you should be against like what he's getting so so, so much attack like what what do you guys think like why is he getting so much hate like for his vex do you guys have any theories for why him um, so this seems to have began after Bill Gates did not ask me everything on anything on Reddit where he said, quote, eventually we will have some digital certificates to show who has recovered and who has been tested recently or when we have a vaccine, who has received it. And the Bill and Melinda Gates Foundation also helped fund a quantum dot tattoo project um, through MIT, which the finished product would uh, involved temporary computer readable dyes injected into the skin, which was conceived as a possible solution to make vaccine records easily accessible. And obviously it should be noted that this conspiracy extends past Christians, although typically without the usual mark of the beast flavor. Um, do you guys, Shobham, Rivka, do you guys have any theories? So ridiculous, like, I don't even know what to say. <laughs> Rivka was doing like this as well. She's saying and she doesn't know what to say. It's, it's too dumb to even be able to comment. On. Uh, the, the, the top comment on Facebook is um, Georgie by saying, while he spends his money on in vaccines and research, pastors spend the money on their own people and luxury for themselves. 
Speaking of moral, yeah, that's fair. They die of a saying, do we have to pay extra for the mark of the beast or is it a bonus? Always got my eye out for a good, val good value for that. Yeah, actually, I would love like anything. Like if, if they say like, hey, we have these chips and stuff that will help you track yourself online and stuff, I might be like, meh, I'm not into it. But if they're like, and it's called the mark of the beast, I'm like, okay, sign me up. Like that sounds pretty cool. Like I think they should use that as a branding for one of these chips, right? Adam is saying, seriously, love the he is gonna implant us with microchips to track us. Comments that most likely are posted from their mobile phone, which is tracking them. Oh, that's pretty. Yeah, that, <laughs> that's a good one. Um, yeah. So A A R N. You go on. No, I was saying these ridiculous questions give me good content for the novel I'm writing, so I don't really mind. <laughs> being ridiculous it, and it's honestly it's a bit so it's a bit too ridiculous because when when things are so arn is also saying in the live chat is saying i wish we didn't have to deal with such dumb ass conspiracy theories the thing is there's some some stuff that are dumb but so many people buy into it so there's something you could say about it right You're like oh my god why are people being so stupid this is not true and then you have something to say but then there are some other things that are just so dumb that you just like, uh, uh, what do I, uh, where do I start? Like, what do I do with this? Like, do I even need to point out how dumb it is? Like, do I even, where do I start? Like, it's just like you just, be, yeah. So this is one of those, I think. Anyways, news. Thank you for joining us. Subscribe to our channel. Hit the bell thingy. If you haven't, I don't know why. What has what's holding you back? Okay, if you haven't subscribed to our channel, why haven't you subscribed to our channel? Explain that to us, please. Like, bell, <laughs> and also, if, you, if you're not getting notifications and stuff because YouTube is not telling people that we have shows because YouTube is like, oh, this person told us that they want to get your shows, right? They want to get your videos, but nah, you, we think it's no. And oh, look, oh, they also hit the bell button, but nah, you guys are too controversial. We want to show them mainstream stuff. We want to show them CNN or cat videos or whatever. But even there are people are like, no, we want to see Atheist Republic. And YouTube is like, no, nah, we don't think you want this. They're like, no, please show it to us. We say to you, we want to see Atheist Republic. And YouTube is like, no, we think we know what's better for you than you yourself. So to solve that, link, there's a link in the description, uh, which is to our newsletter. So hopefully some of our, we could email it to you. So hopefully you get some of our content that way. Okay. So yeah, subscribe to our newsletter as well and share, share our videos because you know, we do get demonetized. That's an obvious on every one of our videos. So F that, but we don't care about that anymore, <laughs> but we also get deprioritized and that's even more damaging to us. Deprioritized. What does that mean? That means we're not, we don't show up on the suggested, you know, videos on the right and all that, you know, on the, on people's homepages. And that's how channels grow. Unfortunately we can't grow. So we need you guys to share our videos. 